This treatment will not change the look, taste, or odor of the water. But it may be revolutionary in reducing chromium-6 in our drinking water. Chromium-6 is a mineral that occurs naturally in Coachella Valley groundwater due to erosion and natural deposits. Right now, levels of CR6 exceed the state's maximum contaminant level. State adopted the regulation on January 1, 2014, and water systems must come into compliance with that new standard by January 1st of 2020. In order to meet that standard, the Coachella Valley Water District is testing emerging technology to develop a CR6 treatment method. We have been looking for a more cost-effective way in order to comply with this new drinking water standard. This alternative is a much more cost-effective approach. It will save hundreds of millions of dollars in implementation. Not only will this technology save money, but it will also reduce the visual impacts near neighborhoods and be environmentally friendly. This is a look at how the treatment process works. Stannis chloride, an approved drinking water treatment additive, is introduced at the well site. The Stannis converts chromium-6 to safe levels of chromium-3, and the water is released into the system. Preliminary results for this process are encouraging. We used our state-certified laboratory and performed extensive testing that shows that this process will provide lasting chrome-6 reduction in the water system. So the next step is a full-scale demonstration project this summer. Unlike conventional treatment processes, this will require very little infrastructure on our well sites, so it won't impact the communities and it doesn't produce a waste product like other treatment processes. The district will test the treatment process in ID8, which includes parts of Desert Hot Springs, Indio Hills, and Sky Valley. This water system is ideally suited for this test because it has sufficient levels of chromium-6, an extended pipeline system, and only three or four wells that would need this treatment. Results from the project will be available by the end of the year. If successful, a system-wide treatment would be installed before the state's Chromium-6 compliance deadline. You can learn more about the demonstration project at cvwd.org CR6.